phrased in the best way possible by making sure that everybody agrees. I fear putting pressure on the bids to do it, so I'm standing up to volunteer as everybody in this business meeting, anybody in the public has a problem with understanding how the rules work, I'm the jerk who will explain it to them. Thank you. Ms. Deneroff, a speech in favor? Yeah, I, I'm counting it as against because that's what it was, but it was... Yeah. So, Ms. Deneroff. Um, I believe I'm in favor of this, this motion. I, the courts are using electronic paperwork for all kinds of legal documents without any problem. Uh, I think that the privacy issue is being overrated here that the people, the administrators who are receiving the ballots are still the only people seeing the information and doing the counting uh, I, and can separate the ballots from the, from the personal information before the votes actually are counted. And I don't think that there's any real problem to come from electronic voting. Mr. Bloom, for what purpose does the member rise? Kent Bloom, speak, and I too it. have been involved in site take selection. Take the microphone out of the... Oh, wow. <laughs> I got it. Can does this work better? Yes. yes. Yep. Uh, Kent Bloom, and I would like to uh, say I have also been involved on both sides of site selection, actually all sides, because I've been an administrator. The privacy issues are real. They are different from what a court system, which is a public record, uh, has. And the idea that everyone can agree on my behalf whether or not they want to do to do electro allow electronic voting is a false a false um, idea because it, it my res my rights as a member are to not have my vote. Uh, 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 available for anyone else to see. And that includes the administrator, that includes uh, whatever vote, both sides are actually uh, allowed to see the votes. Uh, they are simply not allowed to associate them because of the paper uh, process. They are not allowed to associate them with an, uh, an individual member. However, if this uh, ties it together with electronic signatures and electronic ballots, then that protection goes away. The, the time against has expired. Mr. Breitbart, for what purpose? Seth Breitbart. You have 45 seconds, by the way. The issue of confidentiality is extremely important. It's the reason some decades ago I introduced the idea that the mail-in ballot should have the ballot side on the back so that the name and the ballot are not visible even to the administrator at the same time. Speaking as a professional in the field, I can think of several different methods that electronic signatures and electronic ballots can be done in such a way that nobody can associate a given ballot with a given signature and that anybody can verify that only these particular people voted, and these are the votes, but I can't tell how each person voted. I can tell. Seeing as by how much? Is there a second? Is there any objection to extend? There's a motion to extend debate by one minute for each side, and it's been seconded. Is there any objection? objection. All right. This requires a two-thirds vote. All those in favor of extending debate by two minutes, one minute each side, please raise your hands. All right. Hands down. Those opposed? I'm going to say the noes have it. All right, I would like to put the question to the floor then. Is there any objection? Seeing none, we're going to vote on whether to ratify 8.5 electronic signatures. All those in favor of ratification, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes have it. The motion is ratified. 
The two remaining items of business passed on have been postponed definitely till Sunday. That brings us to uh, new business for today. And we will start with best series. Still, still Andrew Adams. Uh, I have a parliamentary inquiry. Given that new business this year, um, we are dealing with some very controversial issues, some issues which we have been wanting to deal with quite quickly. Um, quicker. Some people have been trying to push the speed with which we do things because of the situation we find ourselves in. Um, and a question which came up last year, at, at least informally. Um, if we pass a motion this year, one of these new business um, I, on the grounds that we then have a chance to see another year of what's going on. But we decide, if we want it next year... Let, let, let him finish. He'll get to what he's talking about. I'm explaining what the, what the, what the issue that the parliamentary inquiry is supposed to, to address. If we pass one this year and then decide next year that it would be in our interest to give ourselves the option of ratifying it, not next year but the year after, is there a way that that can be done next year? You have to defeat ratification and pass it again as a new item. The, the head table rule or believes that either suspending, defeating ratification and suspending the rules to insert the item as a new item of business during the meeting or preceding that by just inserting it as a item of new business before the meeting as normal new business would be would be the way to go about that. Is everybody clear on what just happened? No. What is, what is, okay, what is so there was a question on how one could delay ratification of an item passed this year. Should, when we get to ratification next year, we decide we still need another year before we're actually ready to ratify that item. The way to do that would be to defeat the ratification of the item passed this year and next year pass it as first passage, the, roughly the same text, exactly the same text, however that uh, mover sees fit. And then that would be up for ratification the following year, which would be 2019. 18. 18. I can do math. <laughs> Mr. Cronengold, please use the microphone. Let me make sure I have this. Joshua Kronengold, wouldn't adding a major change that could then be removed in the next year also do the same thing? I'm, I'm sorry, I was dealing with this. Act. Could you? Wouldn't um, amending the movement, uh, amending the promotion um, with a major change that could be removed in the next year as a minor change also do the same thing? That would also work. <laughs> I'm sorry, what Mr. Yellow, for what purpose does the member rise? Uh, <laughs> I speak for wait, 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 wait. I need a, a timeout. Yes. Yeah. I need a timeout. The, the, what did, what did can I, Joshua Cronenberg ask? He, he, uh, he, hold on. Would you, do you need what Mr. Yellow said? Or Mr. Yellow asked, or Mr. Yellow wish, is, wishes to appeal the ruling of the chair. However, I don't believe I actually made a ruling. I just I, am, made uh, some. An opinion. Well, yeah, I made an opinion. <laughs> Okay, so when? So, so what did um, Joshua ask? Ben Yellow, I'm actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, if there was no formal motion made for you to rule on, how can you, your ruling be appealed? I, I'd like to hear how Mr. Yellow is going to get to that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what we had. Yes. The reason the that, the way I'm going yeah, to get to that is, is yeah. that in fact, I believe you are probably correct. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, 